Welcome back. Here's our last project. It is a teapot cozy and you can make ooh, you can make these any way you like. I like this one because it's got that kind of trivet built in to the bottom and the only thing I did here was a, um, a nice rectangle. I find that I made this a little big, like it's, it's kind of big. So when I made this example, I'm actually making it a lot smaller. So the construction of this, let me just pull it apart. There we go. The construction of this is just, I knit back and forth, back and forth, but then I turned it this way. So it's got that, I love this rib look. Oh, nice comfy blanket. Make a comfy blanket out of this. That's gorgeous. Okay, so what I did is I measured. I know how, I know what my tension is. And so I wanted it to be, it was kind of big before, and I think I did 32. This was 32. So this one I thought I'm going to make it 30. So let's see, do I have 30? Let's take a look. Where, oh, I'm gonna have to add some more yarn. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. So there's my cast on. There's my cast on right there. And then row one goes towards the tail. And this first bump is two. So I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. And so I know that I'm gonna, so I know that's 28 because I counted it, it's, it's already on the needle. And I know that 29, this will be 29 because I'll be going to the, towards the, the tail that I started with. All right, I've got my yarn. I have a ton left. That ball, I'm on, I still have some on my ball, so again, I'm going to add, I'm going to show you a different, a different way of, of doing this, of just tying it together. Okay, so I'm going to make a very loose knot, okay, very loose knot. Then I'm going to thread my working yarn into the knot, just with my thumb, okay. And I'm going to pull on the knot there. And now with my working yarn, I'm going to make a knot. I'm, I don't love this one. And then I pull it together so that both knots come together. See? I still think this is a little looser. Yeah, see, that's, to me, that's just too loose. And I'm going to snip off the ends. Nice and close. To the knot and there's that fabric stuff you can use if you like and here there we go okay there it is that's not going anywhere okay so I've I'm on 20 there we go where am I where am I yeah that was 29 so now I'm going to finish up and do 30 and then I'm going to bind off I'm going to pull my needle, push my work up towards the top, and hopefully it doesn't fall off. And we're going to do the last row together. Okay, nice and cozy and repetitive and meditative. Nice and calm, and I just went right over that knot, that's fine. And I pull down my work on the right, push up my work on the left. There we go. So I've got all those stitches, those new stitches, they're all bunching up on my right, so I'm just going to pull them down. Push up on the left, pull down on the right. 
and I'm almost done. It's getting chilly here this morning. It was It's sunny. It's beautiful. But it was like uh, 11 degrees Celsius. So that's, uh, what's that Fahrenheit? 11, 11 is 22 plus 32. So that's like 50 something. There we go. I'm done. Now I'm going to bind it off and sew it together. So it's knit, knit, slip the second one over the first one and pull off. And I'm using tension. Remember, tension is one of those things that you will learn the more you do it. And if you find you're, you're doing something and your tension's all over the place, you're really loose or you're really uh, tight, the more you practice, the better your tension's going to get. I love this. I love that. I think that is so pretty. And there we go. It's really fun to just go to a yarn store or anywhere that you can when, when we can and when it's safe to do so and just browse and because it is overwhelming on what yarn to use and that's why I, I love acrylic yarn at the beginning and then you can start looking at all sorts of different yarns and especially like once you get to where you might want to start um, supporting some like indie dyers and yarn makers and spinners and things like that and the yarn is can it's definitely more pricey than most acrylic yarns and that's just because of all the beautiful uh, creative art that goes into it it's very beautiful yarn and just with a skein of yarn you can make these three things again with some wool some beautiful different colors you could stripe, you could do, like say, an inch of one color of this and then change colors. There we go, almost done. And so I'm keeping my consistency, I'm not too tight, it's nice and stretchy. Eventually we'll do some lessons where We'll add stitches and do short rows and oh, so, and then cables. We'll purl. We'll do it. We'll have another class where, after this becomes really comfy, we'll do a class where you're going to learn to purl and knit and purl. Almost done. This is very similar to the at home cup cozy. I love tea. I love my coffee in the morning and the rest of the day it's all about tea. There we go. Last one. Got my last one on there. I want enough of a tail to weave in. There we go. And then take out my needle. And then that last hoop I'm just going to take that end and pop through. There we go. So here we've got some nice tails and the only thing we're going to do now, I'm going to just take my pot, where's my, my pot, and I can lift it up this way and lift it up that way and again you can use something to embellish to put it together. Oh, I much prefer this size to the other size. Okay, so I've always showed you how to use a, a darning needle. I think darning needles are like the the best thing to uh, to help with embellishments and stuff. So I'm just taking the ends, putting them together, and now just with a crochet hook, again instinctively I'm going to come to the corner and then pull through, this is a small hook, there we go, just pull through and then we can weave in the ends. Let me take off this. Again I'm going to go with my my wrong side and I'm going to just instinctively pull some yarn through just like 
how we weave in the ends. You can just poke through some of the uh, stitches. And again, I just, I'm just i poking through the plies so that it doesn't show on the right side. And then come up as far as I can, and then I'll just bring this through. This is a tiny hook. There we go. Bring it through. And then I could tie a knot. Do that again. Okay. And then bring it through, and then somewhere, just figure out where you're going to end up. And you can tie a knot or do like a, a slip stitch. And very carefully, we're watching the tension. I'm pulling there, and then I can just clip off what I don't need. Same thing with the other end. Go just right to the end instinctively, pull it through, and then really you can just like once you've got that that through, you can just pull that nice and tight, and you can cut that if you like, or add embellishments. Now I'm just doing this like just really close there because I know that I'm going I'm going to want to put now I'm going to put it inside out my right side, and then. When you have it like this, you put your teapot in and pull it over. It's nice and stretchy. Whoops, I broke. That's because I didn't tie it really well. There we go. Pull that up. I didn't tie it well because I want it. I'm going to be sewing something onto this. So there we go. Just pull that there. And there you go. There is your teapot cozy, and you can embellish it any way you like. There you go.